ब्राइट ड्यूटी एवरी स्टूडेंट मैटर्स हेलो स्टूडेंट्स नाउ लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द फाउंडेशन ऑफ द सोवियत स्टेट नाउ बिफोर द स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू रिमेंबर वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट लेनिन राइट वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट व्लादिमीर लेनिन एंड आल्सो द न्यू इकोनॉमिक पॉलिसी दैट वाज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड इन द ईयर 1921 Now, if I ask you, till when it was continued? So, 1928. Now, do you remember why was this new economic policy introduced in Russia at first place? So, it was introduced to revive the Russian economy, right? So, we understood that a mixed economy system that was introduced in Russia during this period and the basic idea to introduce a new economic policy was to revive the russian economy after the first world war right we have seen the impact of first world war on russian industries we have also learnt about that what happened after the revolution ended in 1970 where in Russia, right? So, what happened after the October and the February revolution here in Russia? So, dear students, now we know that Lenin, Lenin, he took the power, he took the control of the government in Russia. Therefore, we see the foundation of the Soviet state. Now, you remember the term Soviet as well. We have seen that throughout the revolution. Soviets were formed in Russia of whom of peasants and workers right so you have learned about the petrograd soviet here we are going to understand how was this soviet state formed or formed in russia here okay so the first revolutionary step that was taken after the revolution here was that all the lands that were owned by the church and the tsar now do you remember who was the tsar during the first world war yes it is quite easy it was nicholas ii right so nicholas ii was the tsar was the ruler right so all the lands that were under the church that were owned by the church and the tsar they were confiscated that they were taken by the lenin's government and they were transferred to the peasant societies now you remember the whole idea of socialism that we have learned about right and lenin he supported this ideology of socialism right he believed in the concept of communism communist government here so basically what was he trying to do all the privately owned lands here the individuals or the church or the tsar who owned these lands they were now taken back by the government and it was transferred to whom to the peasant societies in order to show or not to show but because they believed in the concept of collective ownership therefore these lands were now transferred back to these peasant societies who are going to own the land collectively here let us see what uh, else happened here so the control of industries was transferred to the shop committees of workers now if you remember the new economic policy students we have also learned that private individuals in fact the workers they were also given these shops to own right so that they could earn some profit here so here when we are talking about the mixed economy during the new economic policy introduced here by the lenin's government we see that the state had the control right but partial capitalism we also learned that there was partial capitalism now lands were also given or the shops they were given to private individuals as well but when we are talking about the industries here they were now transferred to the shop committees of workers these workers who were not given the profit as per their work right now foreign debts were repudiated 
and in which investments were confiscated. Apart from this, we are also seeing that the foreign debts, the loans, they were repudiated. What do we understand by repudiated here? It means that they refused to accept it, the loans that were there. Apart from that, the investments, they were also confiscated. The foreign inf investments were also taken back here by the government. So, a lot of changes are taking place here in the Soviet state, right? After the revolution has ended. Now, apart from this, a new thing that we see here is the civil war that continued after the Russian revolution. Now, students, we all know that Lenin, he was the leader of which party here? Bolshevik party. Now, Bolshevik party, if I ask you what is the meaning of the term, I have already told you before. So, one of the majority. Now, understand the concept here. Bolsheviks, they have taken the control of the government. Lenin, he is the head, right? So, here we are seeing that all the people who were against the ideology of Lenin, they opposed him. Now, this is a very simple notion. People, they were in opposition here who were pro Tsarist, who believed in the monarchy, right? Who supported the Tsar. So, therefore, there were many different communities here who opposed the Bolshevik party. And it led to a civil war, right? In which multi-parties were involved, right? So, a war that took place in this country here between different parties. Now, who were the major participants here? Let us see what happened in this civil war that we are talking about. So, Bolsheviks, we all know that the, they were the powerful one. So, they were now known as the Reds. You have to remember the name here. Bolsheviks were identified as the Reds here because they represented the communist government here. Right. So, they uh, represented the whole ideology of socialism. The Another party that we are talking about is the socialist revolutionaries. They were the Greens. Now, if you remember about the socialist revolutionaries, they represented the peasants, right? And they had certain ideas that they propagated that were different from that of the Bolsheviks, right? But the two main parties that we are talking about in this civil war, it is the pro Tsarists who were represented as the whites. So, this civil war here, mainly it was between these three groups. But two major groups here, it is the Reds and the Whites here. Okay, students? So, this was one group that supported the Tsar, right? And this was the another group here, that is the Bolsheviks. Of course, we all know that they were in majority and they defeated the Whites here. pro Tsarists. pro Tsarists here, it means that they were supporting the Tsar. Tsar, it means the ruler here in Russia. Okay. So, whites and greens, they were backed by some other nationalities as well, such as the French, American, British and Japanese troops. Now, everyone was trying here to get some hold, right, of power. So, whites and greens, they were supported by the foreign nationalities here, French, American, British and Japanese troops. But, the civil war here, it took place between the Bolsheviks and these troops. And by 1920, what are we seeing? By 1920, who is the victorious group here? The Reds, obviously. So, Lenin, he gets the hold of the government. So, complete control is under the Bolsheviks, under the rule of Lenin. Okay? Now, here we also know that Russia... Among all the other European countries here, it was economically weaker, right, after the First World War. So, in order to revive the economy of Russia, Lenin had to take some major steps, right? So, he had to replace the old economic order that was established in Russia, right? So, the private individuals 
were also given some power but the state had total control of the economy just we read it right now right so the industries were nationalized banks were nationalized it means that it was under the control of the government the central government that we are talking about under the bolsheviks okay students so this is how the soviet state was formed or founded after the russian revolution of 1970 we will now also learn about the formation of ussr after this thank you